Alright, hello everybody, it's Raven Ryan, and welcome back to Undertale. Uh, last time, here, let me turn on my volume in a little bit. Couldn't hear what I was doing. Okay, so, um, last time, uh, we ran into, uh, this ghost guy here named, uh, Nabstablook. And, uh, we lost. So, we're gonna try fighting him again. Still faking sleeping, I see. Or just saying Z, you know. Yeah, we'll move him with Forrest. No big deal. Here comes Nabsablook. Okay. Uh, let's see. I don't... I don't want to fight him. <sighs> that was a mistake. Alright, hang on. Uh, I have a feeling that we're not going to do as well on this fight either, but we're going to spare him. Really not feeling up to it right now, sorry. Okay. Now Spook is staring into the distance. Okay. Uh, actually, let's um, act, I guess. I'm not sure... Let's cheer him on. Give him a patient smile. Hmm. I don't like your tears, man. This is really not going well for me. Okay. Alright. Let's try it again. Uh, I don't want to threaten him. Let's try flirting with him. Why not? Just flirt with this random ghost guy. Who obviously has depression issues. This is not as easy... As it, well, I, I'm sure it doesn't look easy, but... Uh, Alright. Well, let's try cheering him on again. I told him a little joke. Yeah, he laughed a little bit. Not enough. Okay, this is much easier to dodge. I'm glad we're doing this. Cheering seems to have improved Napstablook's mood again. Okay. Let's, uh, let's cheer him on again. Napstablook wants to show you something. Let me try. Try what? You're gonna cry up. I call it Dapper Block. Oh, okay. It's a hat. Okay. Nobs Block eagerly awaits your response. Let's, uh, let's cheer him on. Uh, well, I guess we can... What? I usually come to the ruins because there's nobody around. But today I met somebody nice. Oh, I'm rambling again. I'll I'll get out of your way. Why, well, thank you, Nobster Look. Well, I guess uh, we beat him that time. Uh, we didn't die. We got a bunch of toads here. Ribbit, ribbit. Sigh. You don't. Okay, that was rude. Okay, my friend never listens to me. Whenever I talk, they skip through my words by pressing X. That's right, pressing X. Well, at least you listen to me. Hmm. Reminds me of all the times I played RPGs in the past, and when the dialogue gets a little out of hand, you just want to skip through the dialogue. I heard using F4 can make you have a full screen. That's what we're doing right now, actually. But what does F4 stand for? Four frogs? I have only seen a maximum of three frogs in this room. This is troubling, to say the least. Hmm. I have heard you are quite merciful for a human. Surely you know by now a monster wears a yellow name when you sp when you can excuse me when you can spare it. What do you think of that? Uh, very helpful or it's bad? I think it's very helpful. It is rather helpful. Remember, sparing is just saying that you won't fight. Maybe one day you'll have to do it even if their name isn't yellow. Well, that would be unfortunate. Oh. Maybe that time is now? Luke's drew near. I get it. He Luke's because he has a very giant eye. Okay. So what are we going to do? Uh, we're going to not pick on. Finally, someone gets it. Yeah, sure. We'll just dodge all your little bubbles. Luke's gnashes its teeth. I guess those are teeth that it has. I don't know. 
Let's just not pick on him again. Okay, a little bit different here. Not too, not too difficult. Looks is gazing at you. Yes, yes, he is gazing at me. Uh, kind of looks like a devil a little bit with those horns. But we're not going to pick on him. Not going to pick on him. We're just going to let him be. My HP is low, I just realized. Lux is staring right through you. That he is. Uh, let's not pick on him again. Finally, someone gets it. I guess that's the only thing he says. We might try uh, sparing him next time. Yeah, we're a little... let's try sparing him. Oh, I guess that's all I had to do. Iron 5 gold. Alright. Ring. Hello. I just realized that it's been a while since I have cleaned up. I was not expecting to have company so soon. There are probably a lot of things lying about here and there. You can pick them up, but don't carry any more than you need. Someday, you might see something you really like. You will want to leave the room... Leave room in your pockets for that. Click. Okay. So we don't want to pick up too many items, because that would be bad. And we're just gonna... Alright, what do we got here? We got spikes and... An enemy. Oh, another Luke's. Well, we're just gonna spare him. Uh... Guess we have to not pick on him first, so we'll do that. Don't pick on him. Okay. Making progress. Alright. Okay. Uh, I guess we'll spare. We don't want to flee. Okay. So we got that guy. I'm just going to fall through a hole in the floor. Alright. What do we got here? We'll try going back. Uh, what was that? I think it was right next door. Uh, yeah. Alright. What's this? What did that do? Oh. Drop the spikes. Uh, don't want to quite go beyond that just yet. Oh. My gosp crawled up close. Looks like a... Looks like a jello. The jello mold in some weird bee thing, I guess. Oh, mold small and my gosp. Alright, what are we going to do? Uh, well, we're not going to fight him, that's for sure. Uh, mold small... Um, don't think we need to intimidate. Let's try flirting. We'll flirt with a jello. You wiggle your hips, mold small wiggles back. What a meaningful conversation. Slime sounds... Okay, whoa, alright. And I'm dead. Well, that's good for all of us. Okay, we're not gonna suck next time. It cannot end now. Of course not. I will stay determined. As best as I can. Alright, what do I do? Okay, let's try it again. Oh no, does that mean... Oh, I have to fight Nav's book again. Alright, I will be back <laughs> when we get to the point where we died. Die. So, we're gonna fight an enemy again. Oh, we got these guys again. Hopefully, we can get through this okay. Uh, let's see, we'll attack, uh, my gosp, I guess, let's talk to him, I don't care, oh, okay, good for me, oh dear, uh, okay, mold small weights pensively, okay, uh, no stitches, uh, we're going to spare him, okay, Alright, what's going on here? Apparently the mold small is making him angry. Doesn't have a care in the world. Okay, well, uh, I guess, uh... I guess we can spare him now. Okay, let's do that. Alright, cool beans. Always like it when we don't die. I did want to know what was down here, though. I'm not exactly sure what this is. Mean carrot guy. Oh, gosh, okay. Vegetoid came out of the earth. It looks like uh, one of those vegetables that Princess Peach pulls out of the ground in Mario Brothers 2. You remember that? Yeah. Except this one looks horrifying. Looks like a cross between those uh, those weird orb things from Mario 2 
and also you know the vegetable things uh, let's see what we can do uh, dinner dinner yes let's ask him out for dinner wait oh or am I eating him for dinner I don't okay I don't want to eat him for dinner let's just talk to him plants can't talk dummy apparently you can because that's what you're doing right now Vegetoid cackles softly. Uh, okay, well, I can't spare him yet. So, let's check him. Uh, serving size one monster, not monitored by the USDA. Of course. Farm locally, very locally. Oh, looking out for corn and onions and pickles and all kinds of stuff. Alright. Uh, um, let's try talking to him again. But to no avail, because plants can't talk. I really should learn that plants can't talk. Okay, Vegetoid's here for your health. Okay. Gosh, okay, so... I have two options here. I have Devour or Dinner. But... Either one of those, I could end up eating him, and I don't want to do that, so... I'm going to try dinner because obviously I can't spare him yet. You pat your stomach. Vegetoid offers a healthy meal. Okay, eat your greens. Ah, okay, so I need to collect the green ones. Okay. Stereo smile. Uh, wait a minute. We can spare him now, so let's do that. Yay! Zero XP and four gold. Okay. That was interesting. I don't know if it was really worth doing that, but, uh, you know. So, there's one more thing down there. It looks like something. Might even be Napstablook again. And I threw the lever for that. Let's fall down this hole real quick. There's Napstablook. I fell down a hole. Now I can't get up. Go on without me. Wait. Ghosts can fly, can't they? Oh well. Sure. Oh, it looks like there's another vegetable down there. I'll try to get him real quick. Uh, another Luke's. Uh, I think I can just... No, I can't spare him yet. Don't pick on him. Then I spare him. Got it. Okay. I might um, skip through a lot of these enemy encounters because they're so frequent. Smells like eye drops. Okay. Let's spare him. Alright. Goody goody. Alright, so we can move on now. Except, uh, I kind of want to fight that other vegetable guy. For some gold. Okay. Vegetoid came out of the earth. Uh, so what do we need to do with him? We need to ask him for dinner. For a healthy meal of healthiness. Eat your greens. Oh, okay. Well, we got hit, but we still got our greens. And now we can spare him. All right. That works out for the both of us. Okay, so now we can move on. Hopefully. Hopefully we won't... Okay. All right, so we got a green of cyan... And a red thingy bobber. What does this say? The far door is not an exit. It simply marks a rotation in perspective. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to have to cut through a lot of these uh, random encounters. Okay. So we need to spare the jelly. Nothing like alone time. Sure. You just keep saying that. Uh, okay, and we'll just, uh, oh yeah, we can spare him now, okay, just spare him, oh, okay, I got it, getting the hang of it, okay, uh, so what do we do if we touch the green one, it's a switch, press it, yes, of course, nothing happened, great, I love it when switches don't work, okay, it's a switch, press it, yes, nothing happened, okay, all right, what if I press this one? Press it. Yes. Nothing happened. Great. I'm glad to know that none of those switches work. 
and that we're making all the progress in the world. Looks like there's more of them. Okay, what does this say? If you can read this, press the blue switch. Well, it doesn't look like there's a blue switch in this room. A pair of vegetoids came out of the ground. Okay, so I guess I'm just gonna ask him for dinner again. Farm locally, very locally. Eat your greens. Okay, we got that one. Oh dear. Okay, vegetoids here for your health. Sure. Uh, let's go ahead and spare the other guy. So we don't have as many vegetables to dodge. Okay. Give me your greens. Okay. All right. Okay, give me that. Ooh, I missed it. I missed it. I'm going to try to do that again. Okay. <clears throat> Alright. Oh, got it. Oh, get out of there. Okay. Alright. We're good. It's fine. Uh, now we can spare him. Good. Alright. I think I'm getting the hang of this. So it doesn't look like there's a blue switch, but it might be behind here. Yes. Okay. I'm a smart one. Hear a clicking sound. Cool beans, except we got another random encounter. A pair of Lukes. A pair of eyes. No big deal. Okay. Now we can move on. Finally. We got more switches. Okay, what does it say? If you can read this, press the red switch. Um, this one seems a little bit too easy. Vegetoid. Okay, so I need to get rid of the other enemy first. Um, assumably, because that's what that guy seems to like, is alone time with you. So, um, Let's see. What do we need to do first? We need to uh, ask this guy for some dinner. Okay, Legion, we are Legion. Okay, got my greens. That's good. Okay, so I, I'm pretty sure that guy's a B. And we will spare him. B and me is the best. Sure. I wonder what happened if I ran into him. Okay, now we can spare him as well. Got it. So I need to press the red switch. Okay, that seemed like it was easier than it could have been uh, okay if you can read this press the green switch uh, okay so it's obviously not that one now it could either be it could be either one of those because I'm sure it's behind the pillar like before okay so eeny meeny miny mo uh, I'm gonna for the right one of course I chose the wrong one okay let's draw let's go back Wait, where am I now? I guess I need to go th this way. No, that's going back. Okay, so I'm at the very beginning now. Okay. I'm really hoping I don't run into too many more enemies right now. They're starting to get a tad bit annoying. So obviously it's this one. Got it. Okay. Oh, there we go. I knew that was coming. <clears throat> all right got the snaffles today seems like I do that all the time all right so we got some green greens and some dead leaves let's see what's behind here a tree oh dear that took longer than I thought it would well excuse me I died like twice how did you get here my child are you hurt? There, there. I will heal you. I should not have left you alone for so long. It was irresponsible to try to surprise you like this. Uh, well, I suppose I cannot hide it any longer. Come, small one. Certainly, I'll just, uh, just keep following you, even though I probably shouldn't trust you, even though I, you know, it's not like you're... A stranger or anything. Seeing such a cute, tidy house in the ruins gives you determination. 
save real quick. How are we doing on time? No idea. But that's okay. Okay. Do you smell that? Surprise! It's a butterscotch cinnamon pie. I thought we might celebrate your arrival. I want you to have a nice time living here. So I will hold off a small snail... Wait, what? I will hold off on snail pie for tonight. Perfectly fine with that. I wasn't looking for escargot pie today. Here, I have another surprise for you. Okay. What sort of surprise? This is it. You're holding my hand in everything. It's so sweet. A room of your own. I hope you like it. Oh, that's not creepy at all. Is something burning? Um, make yourself at home. Better not be burning my pie, woman. Alright, seems modest enough. Since I'm stuck down here now, I guess I'll just have to live with it. I guess I slept. Alright, pie. You found a slice, slice of butterscotch cinnamon pie that Toriel just wanted to leave on the floor. For me, on the floor. Great. Okay, let's see what's in this wardrobe. Never mind. Guess I can't. Uh, an empty photo frame. It's really dusty. Okay. A box of kids' shoes in disparity of sizes. Okay. Let's turn a light on in here. Good. Look at these cool toys. They don't interest you at all. But then why are they cool? All right. What's behind this door? Oh, okay. What's that? It's Toriel's diary. Read the circled passage. Uh, well, in uh, mm, in my experience, it's probably a bad idea to read people's diaries, but why not? What could go wrong? You read the passage. Why did the skeleton want a friend? Because she was feeling bonely. <laughs> bonely. Yes. The rest of the page is filled with jokes of a similar caliber. So it's a joke book diary. Got it. Okay. Good for me. It's an, encyc it's an encyclopedia of subterranean plants. You open to the middle. Typha, a group of wetland flowering plants with brown oblong seed pods. Known more commonly as water sausages. Um, I think those are cattails. If that description is correct. I think they're called cattails. You peek inside. Scandalous! It's Toriel's sock drawer. Oh, yes. Sock drawer. Sure, I'm sure, -ish, I'm sure it was a sock drawer. Okay. Room under renovations. Alright, I guess we'll be going in there. This house is very yellow, and now it's very brown. Alright, let's go downstairs and see what's down there. Going back to the purple theme again. Uh-oh. I think you should play upstairs instead. Um. Okay. I guess I won't be going downstairs then. Good for me. Okay. Uh, let's talk to Toriel. Up already, I see. Um, I want you to know how glad I am to have someone here. There are so many old books I want to share. I want to show you my favorite bug. Bug hunting spot. I've also prepared a curriculum for your education. This may come as a surprise to you, but I have always wanted to be a teacher. Actually, perhaps that isn't very surprising. Still, I'm glad to have you living here. Oh, did you want something? What is it? Um... Well, I don't know if this is a good question to ask, just because I, uh, clearly Toriel is kidnapping me. So, when can I go home? What? This, this is your home now. Um, would you like to hear about this book I am reading? 
It is called 72 Uses for Snails. How about it? Uh, how to exit the ruins? Um, how about an exciting snail fact? Did you know that snails make terrible shoelaces? Um, yeah, I probably did know that, actually. Interesting. How to exit the ruins? <laughs> I have to do something. Stay here. Right, okay. I'll just, uh, I'll just go up here into the kitchen. Okay, what's in the fridge? For some reason, there is a brand name chocolate bar in the fridge. Is it a Snickers? Because I could go for a Snickers right now. There is some white fur stuck in the drain. Um, maybe it's Toriel's. Is that the pie she made? The size of the pie intimidates you too much for you to eat it. Well, I already have a slice of it, so... The stovetop is very clean. Toriel must use fire magic instead. Right. So why does she have a stove? We may never know. Okay, so what if we... Since Toriel had to go, had to go do something, what if we try going downstairs now? Oh. Okay. She's already here. You wish to know how to return home, do you not? Ahead of us lies the end of the ruins. A one-way exit to the rest of the underground. I'm going to destroy it. No one will ever be able to leave again. Now be a good child and go upstairs. See? I knew it! I knew it! She was kidnapping me the whole time. But I'm not gonna listen. I gotta get out of here. Every human that falls down here meets the same fate. I have seen it again and again. They have come, they leave, they die. You naive child, if you leave the ruins, they, Asgore, will kill you. Let's just cut to the chase. Tell me who Asgore is. I am only protecting you. Do you understand? Go to your room. Now, uh... I, uh, would believe you if you didn't just kidnap me, so... Do not try to stop me. This is your final warning. Okay... You want to leave so badly? Hm. You are just like the others. There is only one solution to this. Prove yourself. Prove to me you are strong enough to survive. Okay, you're just gonna fight me then. Good. Her eyes are red and everything. Toriel blocks away. Okay, let's see what we can do. Let's just try talking to her. You couldn't think of any conversation topics. Great. Oh, gosh. Okay, uh, this is bad news for me. Toriel looks through you. Uh, okay, well, I guess we can't talk, so let's try just sparing her. Whoa. Whoa, whoa. Okay, whoa, gosh, okay. Toriel looks through you. Uh, spare her again. I don't know what else to do at this point. Oh, gosh. Okay, all right, all right, all right, all right. Ooh, I hope we don't die. Toriel prepares a magical attack. Um. Okay. Doing okay. Uh, let's try sparing her again. Oh, okay. Oh, that's bad. Oh, we only got five health left. All right. What are you doing? Uh, okay. All right. All right. Ugh. We only got four HP left. Okay. Uh, let's just spare her again. Just keep sparing her. Attack or run away. 
I'm not gonna attack you. Not gonna do it. Uh, Alright. Just gonna keep sparing you. What are you proving this way? Proving that you are wrong and I am right. Fight me or leave. I'm not gonna. Sorry. Whoa. Okay. I don't know how we're gonna do. Stop it. Stop what? Oh dear. Oh gosh. Okay, we only got two health left. Stop looking at me, looking at me that way. Hmm. Getting easier to dodge. Yeah. 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 Go away. Huh. I don't even have to do anything. Whoa. Toriel takes a deep breath. Alright. I don't even know if I can get hit. Toriel prepares magical attack. Just keep sparing her. Something's changing. Okay. Toriel is acting aloof. I'll have to look that word up later. I know you want to go home, but... Spare. But please, go upstairs now. Hmm. Now, I know at this point, because she stops attacking you, that you could potentially attack her because now she's defenseless. But I'm not going to do that. Because she seems like a pretty nice person, so... Uh, we can talk to her, see what that does. You try to think of something to say again, but... Uh, I guess it doesn't work. Okay, let's just spare. I promise I will take good care of you here. I know we do not have much, but... We can have a good life here. Why are you making this so difficult? Please, go upstairs. But I don't wanna. I wanna leave. <laughs> Pathetic, is it not? I cannot save even a single child. No, I understand. You would just be unhappy trapped down here. The ruins are very small once you get used to them. It would not be right for you to grow up in a place like this. My expectations, my loneliness, my fear. For you, my child, I will put them aside. If you truly wish to leave the ruins, I will not stop you. However, when you leave, please do not come back. I hope you understand. Oh, But I, I'll come back for you, Toriel, don't you worry. Goodbye, my child. Mm, okay. Hmm. Alright, well, let's move on then. See what we can do. Alright, in this corridor. Excuse me. Okay. So, uh, yeah. Oh. Hello there. Flowey. Clever. Very clever. You think you're really smart, don't you? In this world, it's kill or be killed. So you were able to play, uh, play by your own rules. You spared the life of a single person. <laughs> I bet you feel really great. You didn't kill anybody this time. But what will you do if you meet a relentless killer? You'll die. And you'll die, and you'll die. Until you tire of trying, 
What will you do then? Will you kill out of frustration? Or will you give up entirely on this world? And let me inherit the power to control it. I am the prince of this world's future. Don't worry, my little monarch. My plan isn't re re uh, what? Isn't regicide. Sorry if I'm mispronouncing that. This is so much more interesting. Alrighty then. Okay. Guess we'll just continue. Uh, you know, I was second. Since this game is based off of Earthbound, I have actually played Earthbound. Uh, I'm actually pretty far into it. Got it on the Nintendo eShop. And uh, I have yet to finish that, so... Uh, but the similarities are pretty apparent when it comes to the graphics, you know, the visual style, and, uh, you know, just the setting of, you know, having a small child going through this, you know, adventure, I guess. I don't know how else to put it, but very similar to, uh, the game that it took inspiration from. There's a camera hidden in the bushes. Wonder why? Seems a little odd. Ominous. Especially with these endless... What was that? Maybe it's something behind me! Okay, maybe there's not. I think we're just fine. Just strolling along in the forest that's apparently endless. Uh, a little bridge here. Oh. Hmm. Well, aren't you scary? Human. Don't you know how to greet a new pal? Turn around and shake my hand. <laughs> All right. <laughs> the old whoopee cushion and the hand trick. It's always funny. Anyways, you're a human, right? That's hilarious. I'm Sans. Sans the skeleton. I act I'm actually supposed to be on watch for humans right now. But, you know, I don't really care about capturing anybody. Now my brother, Papyrus. He's a human hunting fanatic. Hey, actually, I think that's him over there. I have an idea. Go through this gate thingy. Yeah, go right through. My bro made it the bars too wide to stop anyone. Okay. Quick, behind that conveniently shaped lamp. Hmm. Yes, very convenient. Sup, bro? You know what's up, brother! It's been eight days and you still haven't recalibrated your puzzles! You just hang around outside your station! What are you even doing? Staring at this lamp. It's pretty cool, don't you want to look? No! I don't have time for that! What if human comes... <laughs> what if a human comes through here? I want to be ready. I will be the one. I must be the one. I will capture a human. Then, I, the great Papyrus, will quit all the things I utterly deserve. Respect... Recognition, I will finally be able to join the Royal Guard. People will ask to be my fr friend? What? <laughs> I will bathe in a shower of kisses every morning. Hmm. 
Maybe this lamp will help you. Sans! You are not helping! You lazy bones! All of you, all you do is just sit and boondoggle. <laughs> uh, I don't think I've heard that word before. You get lazier and lazier every day. Hey, take it easy. I've gotten a ton of work done today. A skeleton. <laughs> Sans! Come on, you're smiling. I am! And I hate it! Uh, why does someone as great as me have to do s so much just to get some recognition? Wow, sounds like you're really working yourself. Down to the bone! <laughs> Ugh! I will attend to my puzzles. As for your work, put a little more backbone into it. <laughs> okay. Hey. Okay, you can come out now. <laughs> well, that was crazy. All right, what do we got? You want to get going. He might come back, and if he does, I'll have to sit through more of my hilarious jokes. All right, what's uh, what's behind here? Some sort of checkpoint or sentry station. But here are bottles of ketchup, mustard, and relish sitting inside. Ah, so it's a hot dog stand. Actually, hey, hate to bother you, but uh, can you have? Can you do me a favor? I was thinking, my brother's been kind of down lately. He's never been human, or he's never seen a human before, and seeing you might just make his day. Don't worry, he's not dangerous. Even if he tries to be. Thanks a million. I'll be up ahead. Alright, well, I think that about does it for this episode, guys. Um, that was a pretty uh, jam-packed episode, if I say so myself. Uh, we uh, finally beat Dupless, and... Dupless? Why did I say Dupless? I'm referencing the ghost in... Uh, Paper Mario Thousand Your Door, which uh, was a funny little Freudian slip there. I meant to say Nabstablook. We beat Nabstablook, uh, toured Toriel's house and eventually left, and now we met Sans and Papyrus. So, I think that'll about do it for this episode. However, uh, I think I'm going to have to continue this right away because I have not seen a save point. Uh, so we'll have to look for one. So I will catch you guys later in the next episode. I'm Raven Ryan, and I will see you later.